Bill Ingram for Hoops World TV here with Zach Randolph of the Memphis Grizzlies. And Zach, first of all, talk about having to come back from an injury in a season like this where the, everything's so crunched together by the lockout. Man, it's real difficult, you know, um, especially, you know, being out half of the season, coming back, you know, the guys <clears throat> already got the chemistry going, been playing together and, you know, um, getting along. So it's, it's difficult, but, you know, um, just try to come in and, and do the best I can do and, you know, integrate myself back in playing with these guys and the way they play and just try to help this team get wins. Tough spot for Maurice Spates to come in from a team where he wasn't playing very much to being a starter while you were out. Um, he said you were someone that helped him a lot. What do you think of Maurice? Man, Mo being great, man. He's an up-and-coming young guy with a lot of talent. Um, like I got to tell him, I think he can be an all-star in this league one day. He can shoot the ball very well. Got a great body, uh, 6'11", 6'10", good hands, and, and can play. So, you know, the young fella been doing good, and I've been encouraging him, you know, keep on playing, playing aggressive, you know, playing defense, getting rebounds, and try to help him out the best way I can. This kind of became your team last year with Rudy Gay out with the shoulder thing, and you, you were an all-star, had, you know, had a very good year here. Is it tough to, to integrate back, you know, the two of you? Is, is it too much offense together? Is that kind of the reason for the bench move, or what's your take on, on how you guys can kind of coexist? I mean, we can coexist. I mean, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and, and Chris Boss play together. So, you know, you got it's a lot of dogs that play together and guys out there who get it in. But that's, that's Rudy, you know, playing with him great, you know, especially with me. I'm a, it's good to have a, a paint, a, you know, a post presence. And, and that's how you win, inside out. We got a, a perimeter presence and in an in in inside presence with me and Mark. So we coexist, and we've been playing together for years, even though he got hurt. But, you know, I was, well, this is my third or fourth year here, so so it's good. So is is coming off the bench kind of a part-time thing? Is that to do with your knee? Or, you know, how do you feel about that, you know, that role for you right now? I mean, I mean, it's a role, you know, I have accepted, you know. I don't know how long it's going to last. Uh, it's up to the coach. But, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm a team guy, and it's all about winning. So, you know, if he thinks that's the best thing for me to come off the bench and and, and, and help these guys win and I'm with it. We've heard a lot of talk over the last couple of years really about OJ Mayo being traded. He's been yeah. traded a couple of times. Trades fell through, you know, last minute thing. This year the team decided they're going to go ahead and, you know, from ownership on down, there's a real commitment to him on this team. How important is that given how much he brings off the bench? Yeah, OJ been playing great, man. I think this is one of the best seasons of his uh, NBA career. I mean, a kid, a young guy, 22, 23 years old, can shoot the ball. You know, he's play, been playing a lot of point this year um, and doing great. So, you know, the sky's the limit for him. I got to tell him he just got to keep working and, and, and keep getting better. I got to ask, Gilbert Arenas, Agent Zero, you know, he was the guy that was one of the names that was being kicked around. You guys land him. What, what do you think of him so far? Uh, Agent Zero, he's been great for us. You know, he's a leader on this team. Um, he's been through the trenches, been in the playoffs. So he got a lot of experience, and he's been, he been great. He's a leader already, even. Yeah, definitely a leader, you know, just. You know, he don't talk a lot, but he's just a leader with his presence and the stuff he's been through. Finally, looking at this team, I mean, last year you guys were a story. Eighth seed, take out San Antonio. What do you think this year? I mean, Oklahoma City is a team to knock off, and you guys look like one of the only teams with the with the front court and the depth to maybe to maybe stand up to the Thunder. I mean, we just got to keep playing. You know, whoever we land in the playoffs, we just got to keep playing. You know, the season's not over yet, and, 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 and uh, it's real close. And, um, you know, so we just got to take one game at a time and just continue to play and get to our type of game plan and the way we be playing.